What is up Crown Pit crew? Welcome back to another video. As you guys can see by the title, we're going to be doing a tour on my 2014 Ford Police Interceptor sedan or aka the Ford Taurus. Uh, start from the outside, go from the inside, tell you guys everything performance wise that's in my car and stuff like that. I had a lot of confusion whether it was turbocharged or not because I heard like a almost kind of like a whistle but you guys uh, helped me with that. Uh, some of you guys actually have the same car and you said that that has something to do with the alternator or the intake something like that that makes that noise so at first when I found out it wasn't turbo I was like oh great there's probably something wrong with it but you guys said it's totally normal so I found out that this is the 3.7 liter V6 um, cyclone engine so it produces around 308 horsepower which is pretty damn good it's a lot more than the crown vic for sure and it definitely goes a lot faster now it's not the EcoBoost model but i did hear that the EcoBoost models have a lot of issues with them so i'm actually glad i went with this and i also got a lot of comments saying from people saying oh why how did you buy this car and not know what it, you know what engine size it was how did you not know if it was turbo or not i was just so excited at the time i really didn't pay attention to what it was i just liked the car for what it was um and in all honesty i didn't know that it came with all these different options with the crown vic it was just a 4.6 liter v8 and that was it um you know with these you have 3.5 liter then you have the 3.5 liter EcoBoost, and you got the 3.7 liter so it's a lot of different options that i honestly didn't know about until now so mine isn't turbocharged but it does sound like it is so i like to think it's still turbocharged um so yeah we're gonna leave it at that <laughs> i already answered this in my other uh video but since we're already here i paid around ten thousand for this car in case anyone's wondering so uh yeah we'll start up from the front do a full tour kind of review um these nice, mean-looking headlights. I really, really like them. Uh, they're not LED, sadly. Um, they're just the regular, whatever you want to call them, standard bulbs, which I'm really not a big fan of, uh, considering you have the spotlights, which are LED. You would think that these would be LED as well. Um, but I will upgrade in the future. I know they're probably going to be very expensive for this model. Um, over to my Gorilla, I already talked about this uh, in my future plans. You guys can see I got these cutouts on either side where my push bar used to be. Uh, they mounted there somehow you can see that this is all ripped up and stuff from where the push bar was and also down here you got some more holes i'm not sure if you guys can see them uh where the push bar mounted it was a ct now i do plan on getting it in the future but as you can see if you if you kind of come all the way back here you can't see the holes at all you really have to go really up close to it to see where the holes are so it's not really that big of a deal um and i do plan on getting a push bar in the future they're just kind of expensive um the ones that i've seen uh range anyway from 220 to 300 dollars. so that's going to be something that's going to be um put on my car but in the future moving on to the side um we got these almost brand spanking new tires you guys probably won't be able to see because of the, the gopro's not gonna be, be able to pick them up but Really, really good tread on these tires are almost brand spanking new. Sometimes when I go around corners, you'll hear them kind of like screech a little bit because there's just so much tread on them. Um, rims as well, the Steelys, uh, obviously they're extremely dirty, but you can tell that, let me just wipe it off so you guys can kind of see. It's almost like brand new. I mean, it's almost like they bought brand new rims and tires for this car and put them on before they sold them or they either just took really, really good care of it. But um, yeah, my Steelys for my Crown Vic, they were really dirty. They were almost kind of like this. I don't know if the GoPro will be able to pick that up, but almost kind of like brake dust like just splattered on top of it but these are like very very clean obviously you got some dust on them for driving i got to give them a wash but uh, eagle rsa's i'm not really sure if those are good tires or not but i mean they're tires as long as they get me where i need to go moving on over here we got two not one but two led spotlights that do work um, if you guys follow me over Instagram, you guys probably seen what it looks like at nighttime. These things are insanely, insanely freaking bright. It's not even funny. I mean, this outclasses the regular ones by like 100 to 1. It's, it's so crazy. Really, really cool as well. I think it looks a lot better. And I also like how it came with two spotlights. Like I said, again, my, uh, my Taurus came all the way from Pennsylvania. Not a lot of agencies around me have dual spotlights. So, um... It was really cool that uh, I was able to get this with two spotlights because it's something unique. You don't see that around here at all. Continue moving on. You got these cool little cutouts over here. Not really sure what this is for. This is obviously, as you guys can see, it's kind of like not really secured in there. Uh, but I mean, it's pretty cool. It gives a little, you know, sporty look, I guess, to the car. Roof, uh, no holes at all. At all. Um, I'm pretty sure there was a light bulb loud ass truck i'm pretty sure there was a light bar in my car but i mean it doesn't look like there's any holes where the wires went through unless it's one of the new ones that the wires go through uh the door jam whatever i'm not sure how it works but uh yeah unlike my crown Vic, there's no holes in this car which is totally a plus i'd rather have no holes than you know holes obviously but 
beautiful all the way around. Uh, one thing I don't like about this is already kind of something I'm iffy about is the gas cap. So you push it, right? And, and there's no gas cap. It's just you put the nozzle in and it's done. I don't like that just because, you know, eh, I don't really, I don't like that idea at all. I'd rather have a gas cap. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's just faster or whatnot. But uh. moving on to the back, I did finally get my police interceptor badge. I bought it off Amazon this time for about $12. This isn't as nice as my old one. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper, um, but I couldn't find the old one on, on eBay. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the sun, but um, I couldn't find the old one that I bought off eBay, which is a little bit better quality than this. Um, but I bought this one off Amazon. Do not ask me for the link because I actually ordered it off of my Amazon app, so I'm not sure how to provide the link through the Amazon app. So if you guys do want this, just go on Amazon and search up Police Interceptor Badge. Uh, and it should pop up. It's like $12. Uh, you guys will see it. Uh, just make sure it's the thick one like this. It does show on the images. Um, but that, and I also got this, the turbocharged one. I know that you guys are saying, you're so stupid. Why would you buy that if your car's not turbocharged? I actually bought this before I even figured out that my car was turbocharged. Again, you guys are probably like, well, you should already know. Well, I thought that that whistle was a turbocharged noise, but I guess it wasn't. But anyway, who the heck cares? It looks cool. I actually like how it's red. It kind of goes with this strip right here. You got the chrome and then the red. Obviously with the red lights, I think it goes together pretty damn well. And then obviously the police interceptor. Uh, the back, I actually like, not a lot of people think the back fits with the front of the car because it doesn't look as aggressive, but I actually like the back end of the car. As always, because it is a police interceptor, it's got one, two exhaust, and underneath as you guys can see, it's pretty clean. I'm not sure, the GoPro will be able to pick that up, but it's not that bad. It's, it, you know, it's got obviously some rust spots here and there, but it's not as bad as um, the Crown Vic I went to go look at. It was actually really, really bad underneath. As you guys can see, not really that much rust. Really good, clean car all around. Okay, so here is the engine bay. Looks almost brand spanking new. Very, very clean inside and out. When I bought this car, it was just insanely, insanely clean. They must have took a very, very, very good care of it. But that's the engine bay, just really quickly. And obviously another thing that you guys said, well, if it was turbocharged, you would be able to see the turbo somewhere. Yeah, well, I wasn't thinking about that either, but um, still nevertheless pretty cool. A lot faster than the Vic. It's crazy that a V6, only a 3.7 liter, I think it's a lot quicker than the Crown Vic for sure, and you can definitely feel it. So let's go inside, take a look at the inside. So you guys can see it's really nice inside. I got my uh, center console in here. I still need to put my front license plate on. Um, but got the front console and it's still not bolted down i got to figure out a way to bolt it down as you guys can see there's the cutouts from uh, the industrial console as well as right here um i did see the uh console that fit it because i saw pictures and it actually mounted in here somehow and then it bolted in here and there's a couple more spots in here where this is covering but um the industrial console i think is like 200 dollars. i really don't plan on getting that uh i just got to find a way i don't know if you guys will be able to see it but there's these bolts right there that i'm pointing at um i'm gonna try to somehow Put those bolts through the center console so it kind of holds it in snug but as you guys can see it's very nice in here a lot more updated than the crown bit just to kind of show you guys spotlights do work very bright obviously it's daytime you won't see the full brightness but um uh, got this nice little uh, uh sunglass holder right there you got two lights up here and then obviously the standard ticket light red to white which is also not led which is very stupid again because the spotlights are led you would think the department pays so much money for led spotlights they would at least have the led ticket light uh but this is obviously not really that big of a deal uh, my crown vic did have the led um ticket light red to white but um this one obviously doesn't uh it's an easy upgrade it's not really that expensive uh, moving on to the back as you guys can see it's my little brother's car seat so don't don't pay any attention to that um, as you guys can see, the seats are almost brand spanking new. I'm not sure if they replaced them or what, but the seats are almost brand new. The liner underneath where your feet go, almost brand spanking new as well in the front and in the back, as you guys can see. So either this department took really, really good care of this car or they replaced, uh, you know, everything, which I doubt they, they did because usually with ex-cop cars, they just clean them up and sell them as it is. Um, but yeah, let's turn it on for you guys so I can show you guys kind of all these controls and stuff. Start it up. Extremely quiet. Yes, my tire pressure is low. And as you guys can see, you control everything right here. So you can see the speedometer, uh, the trip that you went, all that stuff. Obviously, this trip was from 
you know, when they dropped off my car at the dealership, I didn't go on that. Uh, you got fuel and economy, information, settings. Um, so if you want to go to fuel economy, it'll tell you how much more miles you have till E. Hopefully you guys will see that. It'll tell you the instant fuel economy. So when you're driving, it'll tell you the instant MPGs you're getting, which is pretty cool. Uh, you got a ton of stuff, information. Uh, temperature of your car, idle hours, all that stuff. So I think that's really cool that you got all the controls right here to to control the um, the gauge up front. I also like the uh, the blue, uh, the, just the whole cluster in general. I think is really really cool. A lot more, um, you know, obviously updated than the Crown Vic. And then over here, this is for the radio. You can mute, unmute the radio here. Obviously, I don't want to, you know, put the radio on because of copyright issues. But you can mute. You can uh, change uh, seat uh, volume. So over here we got. Um, Radio CD Cyrus. Uh, I'm not really sure what Cyrus is. Uh, I've heard of it before, but I'm not really sure. Uh, the aux cord, I was actually really disappointed. It doesn't actually have an aux port anywhere, as you guys can see. And I'm most likely guessing it's because when they had the industrial police console here, uh, they had the aux port in there. That's most likely the reason why it's not uh, visible on here, which is kind of stupid. You know, you have an aux thing there, and yet there's no aux port anywhere. Unless I'm stupid and I don't see it. But if you guys, I mean, if there is an aux port anywhere, and you guys know about uh, let me know but i don't see it obviously the date is wrong i gotta switch that but um and then you got phone menu sound and clock um the clock is weird too because it'll go it'll keep going uh, i think it's military time I believe it'll go six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen it'll keep going like that which uh is kind of annoying i would much rather have it just be regular i obviously have to mess around with it haven't even had the car for two weeks so i'm still getting used to all the things uh, then I'm guessing this is for the phone right here and all of that. Um, AC and everything works really, really good. I'm actually going to put that on now because I'm sweating. You got max AC. I will say the AC and the heat work very great. Let me turn this off because you guys probably can't hear me. The AC and the heat work very, very good, just like the Crown Vic. I don't know what it is about Ford vehicles, but they always do it right with the AC and the heat. Like, if you're cold, blast the heat. This car will get hot in, like, seconds. Same thing with the AC if you're hot blast the AC it'll get cool within seconds so Ford does that really really good obviously you got the standard shifter just like the Crown Vic uh, up here all police vehicles usually have it up there but yeah over here you got all your window controls uh, you can lock the windows uh, so no one else in the vehicle can um, you know roll them up roll them down uh, you can adjust your mirrors it also has a blind spot mirror which is pretty cool um, adjust all your mirrors you got automatic front window which goes up and down uh, got these nice little accents over here these uh, imprints which is pretty cool uh, and just like the crown vic you cannot open the, the back door from the inside no matter what this is just i mean you can unlock the door and you still can't open it there's no function in here whatsoever uh, obviously in the back just like the crown vic you got stab plates behind here you guys can hear that i'm not sure where the zipper is to unzip this it doesn't look like there is a zipper but there definitely is a stab plate back here um just like the crown vic just in case a prisoner try to stab the officer or whatever uh, but yeah as you guys can see back here is pretty nice as well like i already mentioned but i mean overall really really nice inside uh you can see the cutouts where the prisoner cage was you got some more holes so go pro can pick that up uh, you got holes over here and you got a little slit over here but i mean nothing too really serious i mean that's really what you pay for when you get an ex-cop car like you know you're gonna get you know a couple rips and stuff in here but overall it's really really not that bad guys i mean uh the other crown vic that i went to go look at was definitely a lot worse now i'm sitting in this car seat so let me get out because it's very uncomfortable this is for the trunk let's pop the trunk let's go check that out turn the car off Okay guys, so here's the trunk. Um, I already mentioned this in one of my other videos. I'm not really a big fan of the trunk, only because I don't like how it's not um, like the Crown Vic where it's kind of like a divot. Um, because everything slides around like this, I have to keep pushing it back. Because every time I hit the gas a little bit or hit the brakes, everything will slide forward, which I'm not really a fan. Um, you got the spare tire underneath there. Like I said again in my other video, I'm most likely going to have to get a trunk pack or something. It looks like maybe that's what these are for or whatever, but probably get a net and kind of just attach it to these little things right here so that way nothing slides around um that's why i really haven't put i have like a car jack and stuff but i don't want to put everything in here so it's sliding all over the place hitting stuff so i got to figure out a solution how to keep all this stuff nice and steady but i mean the trunk space is pretty big not as big as the crown vix but i mean it's still good also um for some reason they did not take out the strobe lights when they decommissioned my car as you guys can see you got one in there in the reverse the second one there and also on the front i'm not sure if they have any in here i wasn't able to see but there's definitely strobes in there as you guys can see they left them in there 
Also in the front, as you guys can see right there, that is not supposed to be there. That is aftermarket uh, for obviously the strobe lights, but they left them in there. Don't see anything else in the front. So yeah, as you guys saw, um, they left the strobe lights in my car, but obviously there's no wires. I mean, they probably just snipped the wires and left it wherever. Um, my buddies are actually really, really good with wiring and stuff, so they actually wanna try to hook them up again just to see what light, what color lights they are, if they're blue, if they're red. Um, obviously, they're not hooked up. You guys can see there's no wires anywhere. I don't have any control panel. I don't have any intent to uh, reinstall them, um, but if my buddies can get them working just to see how they are, that's fine, but I don't plan on keeping them on like that. Uh, in all honesty, when I bought the car, I didn't even notice that until I brought it home. I was like, oh crap, they left their strobe lights in here. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for the car, guys. I mean, it's got 84,000 miles. I'm pretty sure you guys saw when I turned on the gauge and stuff, but it's a really, really nice car. I love it. Definitely um, an upgrade from the Crown Vic. Um, gas mileage, I would say is eh. Um, on the highway, it's really, really good. A hundred, I would say a thousand times better than the Crown Vic. I can be on the highway. I was on the highway for almost two hours with this thing and the gas did not go down at all. But driving through this city, because the car is a lot faster, has definitely a faster uh, throttle response than the Crown Vic. I think it wastes um, a lot more gas in the city. Not as the Crown Vic, but it does, definitely doesn't waste more gas than the Crown Vic, but it it's it almost feels like it's the same as the Crown Vic driving in the city because it has such a like fast throttle response. You hit the, the gas just ever so slightly and the car just jolts forward. So uh, I think that's why it wastes a little bit more gas uh, during the city. City driving, you waste more gas no matter what. I mean, no matter what vehicle you're in. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. A nice little tour. I'll obviously have more videos, you know, driving, acceleration videos, stuff like that. Uh, I actually have to get this video up quick because I have to go to work soon. But I just decided to do just a little tour, tell you guys about the car, you know, how many miles are on it, how much I paid for it, you know, what's the whole car is about and stuff like that. I actually know where my car was uh, when it was in service. So that'll also be another video as well. Um, so I have tons of videos planned for this car and I can't wait to, to bring it to you guys. But yeah, this was just a quick little tour, just letting you guys know uh, what to come you know and all that good stuff so i'm gonna end the video off here if you guys did enjoy make sure to smash that thumbs up button you guys have been killing the subscriber game ever since i brought home this car the subscriber count has jumped almost 300 plus subscribers so thank you guys so much for the support and i will see all of you guys in the next one